Chris Markoff in action against Tomahawk Bruce Swan in this one fall match. Markoff, one of the real ring veterans, and he gets tougher and meaner as the years go by. And he's facing somebody who won't be an easy opponent. Oh, round and round we go and out we go. Chris Markoff not wanting to do battle with Tomahawk Bruce Swan. Oh, Tomahawk is ready. Let's see if the Russian is equal to the task. There's the bell. Mick Carson, George Shire at ringside, and Markoff outside the ring again, arguing with the fans. Mick, I'll tell you something, Mick. This Chris Markov, he could care in the least about rules. He's in there to hurt opponents. Tomahawk, a big, big man, but against a veteran like Chris Markov, you can expect anything. Markov has been all over the world many, many times. He has established a reputation as one of the roughest, toughest men ever to get into a wrestling ring. There's a handful of hair. The referee in behind didn't see it. Markov, of course, would deny it anyway. This man has a list of credentials a mile long. He's held titles all over the United States, Canada, and he's here only to make a name for himself. He will do anything he has to do, legal or illegal. The referee has to watch Chris Markov at all times. Again, Markov, threatened by that tomahawk chop, reached in behind, grabbed a handful of hair. You know, this fella, as many wrestling fans saw just recently, without any provocation, without any reason whatsoever, went after Rick Ferrassi of the Shadow Warriors after Rick had been doing an outstanding martial arts demonstration. Markov, unprovoked, came in the ring, put the brass knuckles on, and leveled young Rick Ferrassi. August 27th is the date. Don't you dare miss it. At the Winnipeg Arena, tickets available through select seat locations. And ladies and gentlemen, King Kong Bruiser Brody will be here in Winnipeg to battle Bulldog Bob Brown, the Central States champion. That one has got to be a war. One of the most outstanding classic matches ever presented in Winnipeg. I would not want to be the referee for the Brody Brown showdown because they are going to be anywhere but in that ring. Oh, oh, Tomahawk Bruce Swan ran right into a boot, that heavy Russian boot, delivered by Chris Markov. Once Markov is on the offensive, he is like a freight train. There's no stopping him. And Bruce Swan, the Tomahawk, is in big trouble. Oh. You look at those boots that Markov wears. He uses those boots to his advantage in the ring, Mick. That he does, as you see right there, right under the heart, and again. Oh, that's got to take the starch out of you. Tomahawk Bruce Swan is in big trouble. Markov with that continual tirade with the fans around ringside. He doesn't like anybody. Markov has been doing this all around the country. And he's looking to no put another notch in his belt. Oh, brother. Look at the stomps, the kicks. I think they should check those boots. Flying mare down to the mat, he goes. And now Markov with the ropes for leverage. Brought that boot down on Tomahawk Bruce Swan. That's it. That is it. Ring the bell. Chris Chalk Markoff. up another one. Chalk up another one, whether you like him or not. The big, rough, tough Russian. Chris Markov victorious yet again. Your winner with a pinfall, Chris Markov over the Tomahawk, Bruce Swan.